Since last year, the SOS Children Home and the Foshini Group started donating textbooks, solar lights, sports equipment, school uniforms and training of teachers. This year, they brought items worth $200,000. In 2015 results, the school was ranked 22nd regionally for grade 10s and 31st for grade 12s in the Commerce region. And since the donations and interventions by the donors, the grade 12s were top 10, while as the grade 10s were ranked 11th in the region. We would like to encourage other corporates to do the same because we have, we pleased to report from Aishipena that they have moved up regionally for their grade 10 exams um, results in 2016 because the Foshini group has been doing this intervention since last year together with uh, SOS Children's Villages and we realize that this is having a positive impact. While a team of parents donated food worth $6,000 for grade 10 and 12 learners who were accommodated in the hostel during exams to study in favorable conditions. This is a very good um, um, exercise because really it helps the kids, uh, the learners of grade 10 and grade 12, those who are coming from um, uh, less privileged uh, backgrounds. This will be a yearly um, um, uh, initiative from our side to assist because, you know, the school performance has also improved. The school was selected based on the fact that most of them come from low-income groups in Ventug. The principal and the learners are more than grateful to benefit from the generous donations. We are now moving to realization of Vision 2030. Now and you now the stakeholders now coming on board now to meet the government halfway as the introductory free education was introduced. So it basically means a lot to us. We are really pleased and we are really we really appreciate everything that you have given us because some of us we stay at places like this, no light and so on. We are really thankful for this. The funding from the Foshini Group towards the school will run until 2018. Salima Henok, NBC News, Ventuk.